Now, a foundation dedicated to the survivors of Japan's wartime sex slavery opened in Seoul today, funded by the Japanese government. But our Kwon Jang Ho reports there's still much to be ironed out. The Reconciliation and Healing Foundation was launched on Thursday, funded by Japan, with the aim of compensating Korean women who were forced by the Japanese military to serve on frontline brothels during World War II. They're euphemistically known as comfort women. Tokyo promised over 9 million US dollars to fund the project after a landmark agreement was reached between Korea and Japan last December to try and settle the issue. But according to Japanese media outlets, the two governments are still discussing the details of the arrangement, so the funds will not be transferred until next month at the earliest. One reason for the holdup was thought to have been a desire on the Japanese side to negotiate the removal of a privately installed statue in front of the Japanese embassy in Seoul, representing the comfort women victims. But the new chair of the foundation, Kim Taeyeon, has strongly denied this, stressing the funds will only be used in efforts to heal the emotional scars of the victims and restore their dignity. The statue and the $9 million fund have nothing to do with each other. So you can forget about the idea that the money coming or not depends on what happens with the statue. Korea's foreign ministry added the foundation will consult with the surviving victims, of which there are only thought to be 40, on how best to use the funds. Our government is listening to the victims' views, and we are taking them into consideration in our talks with Japan. But not all the victims are happy with the deal. Several of them have rejected the agreement signed last December, saying it does not go far enough. We have fought for the same thing for the last 25 years. We want an official apology and legal compensation. Money is not the issue. It's about restoring our dignity. There's also some disapproval among the general public, which was manifested at the foundation's launch. Twenty student activists stormed the press conference and held a sit-in protest. Chairperson Kim was also taken to hospital after she was pepper sprayed by a protester while attempting to leave the building. Kwon Jang-woo, Arirang News.